Hey, what up, everyone? When I'm not coding, I teach math to high school kids, and some of my students have been struggling to grasp the concept of motion, particularly when it comes to understanding the difference between velocity and acceleration and how they affect physical movement. Now, despite the fact that there are obviously great textbooks and even YouTube videos out there explaining these concepts really well using words, sometimes all a student needs is to be able to see something visual that they can interact with and then suddenly they'll go oh I get it so I decided to quickly whip up some code using flutter and create this app to help my students out and thanks to flutter this took like half an hour to make now most students intuitively understand displacement which in other words is position and so that's basically just where the white ball is at currently now if I pull the velocity slider to make it 1, it's just going to move at a speed of 1 meters per second say. And if we speed up the velocity, then obviously it will go faster. And if we go the negative velocity, then it's going to go backwards and so on. And obviously velocity of 0 means you're not moving at all. Now you can also pull this acceleration lever. And if I just make it positive 1, then your velocity will just continually increase by 1 unit. And this will just make the ball go faster and faster and faster, as you can see. And it's also worth pointing out that if you drive a car, then what you have access to when you put your foot down is the acceleration, right? You don't, you don't actually specify your velocity. We just control the acceleration. And so that will in turn increase your speed. You can also make acceleration negative one, making it decelerate. Now you can grab this code for free from my GitHub, which I'll have below, and you can play around with it if you like. If you're a developer watching this and you have other cool ways of putting code together to explain concepts like this, whether it's math or physics or anything really, then I think that's awesome because it's like this next progression from video, as I mentioned before, going from explaining from a textbook to explaining in a video to eventually just making an app for the kid so that they can play around and interact with the ideas themselves. But other than that, that's it for this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters!